Pretty sure that old truck's just laughing at me. <laughs> We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, here we go again. Guys, I've got a not a lot of free time this week with everything going on. We've got a jam-packed weekend, so I've got to just get done what I can get did. That wind is just a ripping and man I hate wind. Damn nader season coming right up here in Oklahoma. Speaking of naders and wind blowing, talk about some deals that'll blow you away. <laughs> we've got all the Puddin's Fab Shop stickers. Boy, we've got some good shirts in stock. Y'all just head on over to that www.puddingsfabshop.com to check that old merchandise out, baby. Me and my family greatly appreciate the support. Now this baby, she's going on a trial run. This is a good foam trucker hat like I've been looking for for two centuries. And I really like this one. So we're gonna put her to the test for the next couple days, see how she does. Hopefully she passes my test because I'd love to get y'all some good hats again. I've got some funny ones coming. Uh, Stuff just takes time. Now speaking of time, it is time to work on a, on the most badass Toyota on the planet. She is two wheel drive and has all the grip and traction in the world. There is no load she can't pull or push. She does it all. It is highly capable of hauling numerous tons on her flatbed. She has taste because she knows that black steelies with the mud grip deluxe polished off with a chrome lug nut just looks tidy. She is the most badass Toyota in the world. I'll bring her in here, but I'm gonna warn you fair and square, all right? She's responsible for six heart attacks to date. She may cause hearts to flutter. When you see her in all of her beauty, she's been known to make me shudder. It has been said that the smoothest of the smooth cannot talk to her without saying a st -st -st stutter. And lastly but leastly, everybody knows she stays looking fresh like the milk from an udder. Hell, I'll get her. I ain't scared. You guys thought I was talking about the tow roller? Oh, I reckon I did say the best, baddest Toyota on the planet. I meant second place, guys. And this is her, our old Toyota Dually. Now that I think about it, she does have many key features, kind of like our Torola. Uh, this one is four wheel drive, okay? The old rear end locks up and them mud grip deluxes do work. She ain't scared of diddly. In fact, talk crap about me in Pot County. I'll come hook onto your daddy single wide and steal it. You be sitting in the damn living room watching Jeopardy and I'll have you trailer on down the road. She is the newest work truck added to the fleet and she still needs a little attention. <laughs> as much as I joke around guys, I legit like this truck way more than I should. I think it's freaking awesome. Uh, if you're new, we found this thing in the salvage yard, okay, in this junkyard. And she's an old conversion camper, just ask that roof. Yes, sir. So at one point, somebody uh, took the camper off the back and closed the cab with that custom work right there, put that full-size flatbed on her, and had them a little work truck. Perfect for what we need around here. So we got our drug home. We did a Will It Run video, which is pretty good. Be sure to check that out. We went through, got her running, deleted some smog-type stuff, carb rebuild, you know, mess with a little do hick and hick doies on it till we got her going. Then the last go around, we got the old mud grip deluxes on it, steely's black, lifted the front about an inch and a half to kind of level her out. 
Now we may have came over here, took a, a bit off the top, kept her high and tight on the headache rack, gave her a trim job. You see our custom exhaust. We half polished out the old graphics, kind of try to match it with a Puddin's Fab Shop sticker. Oh yeah, that old buzzer works. We pulled out 33 cubic feet of rat crap and gave the interior a budget makeover. She's good, guys. Retire the old new balances on the back. Make sure everyone knows the Pot County Legends driving it. And that basically brings us to today. And we're gonna start with uh, getting her to help us out with some of our heavy lifting. We wanna be able to pull up to an engine or drivetrain or rear end and just swing out, pick that SOB up, swing her back, set her on the back, work truck. Got an eight ton long rim jack. Got the Harbor Freight Deluxe one ton push beam trolley. Got the Amazon Champion Power 3,000 pound ATV winch. And lastly but leastly, we got small miscellaneous accessories found at the Harbor Freight. You damn right. Let's get us some metal. Back here, we got all the goodies. I see some angle iron there. Looks like we got some I beam. Should make a girthy base. Boy, I weld that to that. I ain't scared. Yeah, we got all kinds of big metal to choose from here. Hear me out for a second, okay? Uh huh. Put that steely on there, weld our beam off of there. Oh, she would pivot. I'm just playing. We're not going to use this piece of crap. Oh, I'd say she's a worthy piece. Now, a half ton, we'll put that to the limit. Guarantee that. Got us some angle iron here. I may use that to finish some concrete before. Boy, it'd sure be nice if somebody had a flatbed. ever wondered what about 39 horsepower sounded like there you go she sings she sings la 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 i will whoop that ass she's lightweight just ask this roof insert i just realized i forgot a very crucial part and that's our hinges guys and i'm cheating here i don't want to build hinges we got some weld on install seven inch gate hinges here. Pretty sure I got another box somewhere. So it looks like that has a shank. That's got a little ball down in there. Just slider there. Seems to spin pretty good. And here's where it gets tricky. We got to decide here what all we want to utilize, guys. Damn engine department got moved to the classroom here. Let's say that's the base of our crane. We put a pivot here. There's some piece of I-beam or something. We mount the winch here, a pulley here, where it goes like that. Hey, look at that sweet hook. She'll hook anything. Most folks don't know it, but J actually stands for Jim Alva. I need to call him sometime. That old long stroke ram over there, we put it in there somehow where she can kind of pick up and down and whatever. There's the I-beam to our crane again. Now with this trolley design, she's got to be different. But the winch has to somehow be attached to the trolley. We got a reverse J there. But you don't want that one to pivot because as soon as you put it uphill or downhill, that's where that trolley's going to head. Having the trolley's nice, I can tell you that from this. So I got to kind of think up my design here. What do I want to do? Luckily, I didn't start building anything last night. I kind of sat and overthought it. Guys, that's probably overkill. Slightly. <laughs> Ain't trying to move a damn mountain, okay? Uh, just think about what you can move with a cherry picker and how basic it is. I think we're gonna kind of tone her down a bit. I don't wanna buy any material, but we do got a small piece of two by three I found, quarter inch, two by four quarter inch thick. So we can make something work with this. 
kind of picturing putting that there because then we can weld it there, there, there. If we had four of them in a row, we could use that as our pivot point. Those four hinges have to be perfectly in line or they're gonna bind. So let's build our pivot point first. I bet there's enough material here to build the base and the boom. You damn right. Going 54 inches on the boom, four foot, six inches. Whatever's left, that'll be our uh, base. Yeah. Thanks y'all handle an engine or two. Gonna square these ends up just because. She knocks that crap right out, guys. Put my cleaning skirt on for a second. Let's go flapper. Get us a flap attack ready. Of course, you gotta have them stylish safety glasses. Gotta protect them eyeballs. We want to knock all the loose rust off because she might get a coat of paint, okay? We might need her to match them steelies, you never know. There's one, let's go for two. There we go. That's basically like sandblasting. She's hefty, she'll wear out your wrist. Time to prep the hinges for surgery. Damn it, enough grinding. I think if we go on these edges here, it'll be kind of easy to line that up. Two crucial things to pay attention for, guys. One, like I said, they gotta be perfectly in line. We can't have no binding. If the crane binds and it's a struggle, then we're defeating the purpose of the crane. We want this crane to make our life easy, not make it a struggle. And two, because this Pin sits on there a certain way, we gotta make sure it's sitting where the boom don't wanna fall off. If you put it on there like that, well, that ain't no good now, is it? I'm gonna mark this. This is the top of the base. That means we want the shank sticking up on here. Let's see what we can do here. Clean up the welder. Now I did say precise, so y'all know we're gonna use a little eagle eye here, okay? In Pot County, that term precision, she's a loose term. I'm gonna kinda eagle eye her in the middle. We're gonna square it up with the speed square. We're gonna tack it. That's how you lose the ball bearing. She gone. Having to put us a bevel on here where there's a place for that old weld to sit. Don't worry, I found her. Make sure to get to the last one before you remember you have a vise you can use right there. That made that job slightly easier. So if I hold that square right there, I'm gonna mark the edges of that plate. Do a mark there and a mark there. And that right there is how we're gonna center these up and square them up at the same time. It'll work or it won't. Nine inches. We'll mark that. I'm gonna repeat the process, guys. I'm doing one tack per hinge. Then we're gonna tack on the other side. And I'm hoping that if it is binding, maybe if we give her the wiggle wobble back and forth, maybe it'll line itself out. Maybe, possibly, sometimes it kinda works. You just never know. I'm gonna put all of our little ball bearings in there and slide them on. Now that ain't the greatest hinge design, guys, but that ball bearing, all that does is it makes it where there's very little contact surface on the pivot point. 
Uh, it's kind of like the, the railroad track and a railroad car, cart, wheel. The wheels of those things curve. Of course, the, the railroad curves. So when it touches, they say there's less than a, a dime size of actual contact between that wheel and the railroad track. So if there's like a hundred railroad cars, all those wheels added up, each of them only having a dime of contact surface, that's the same as uh, like they said covering a school desk with that many dimes. It's only the size of a school desk of friction to hold you back. It's how them train cars haul ass even though they're loaded down with all that weight. We've got that much contact surface right there with them six shit diggers. And I don't really know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna hush it up. Uh, and we're gonna figure out how to get this on here and hopefully get it swinging. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. Next, we will transfer ourselves to the opposing end and do the other side. Let's give her a little test sample. Nope, oh, my tack broke. Oh, man! Did y'all see that? That thing swings harder than Will Smith. <laughs> Try to retack this, maybe do a better job. Helps when it's grounded. She ain't swinging the best. Hey, she's all there. I guarantee it. It'll be kind of easy to line that up. Oh, this is hard to watch. We had binding. I think it's on the top hinge. I'm going to tack these and see if we can get them happy. Ball bearings everywhere. Honestly, guys, it was swinging pretty good. But if I can get all the binding out of it, now's the time to do it. You could say this is going pretty good. I think we're gonna have to lose two, two of them. Square, just eagle eye it and it'll pivot just fine. Let's see about Man! It'll be kind of easy to line that up. Guys, I think we're gonna have to stick with that classic saying. Two will do. I do not believe these things are actually true and centered up, because as this thing pivots, it kind of moves in and out. So you take four of them, having that little bit of difference and trying to get it to work, ain't happening. 
In fact, just the other day I seen Jesse James made a post on the Instagrammer talking about how terrible these were. He tried to buy some to use them, and now I see what he means. Oh, she binds super good this way. That's perfect. Exactly what we were after. We have to ditch this damn idea. I mean, a little leverage helps. But ditch my whole, uh, let's make her right from the start plan because uh, here we are. Little looby dooby on that booty. See if maybe that helps. Oh yeah, that's better. Hell, she just needed a little grease. It's fine. <laughs> hey, we're gonna take that, guys. I'm tired of getting my ass kicked. Now that it whipped me three times over, we'll look at getting it on the bed. We wanna clean up right in here, guys. We'll grind this one flat. Of course, we'll clean up all that rust. But look at the old floor down here. She ain't the best floor ever. But luckily for us, if we take a gander underneath here, there's some main support crossmember deluxe right there in the color of yellow. I think we'll cut a hole right here and see if we can tie that crane down into there. Woo! That piece is all there. Yeah, bless America. Everybody knows old Sawzall is my favorite. There we go. Got her off there. And hey, that should hit that, I think. Y'all see how this is just flopping? I mean, this bed here, it's a flat bed, but guys, it's rusty. And it was kind of chicken rigged together, if you can't tell. I then showed y'all some of the boogers holding her together. And hey, perfect for what we're doing with it. She's perfect to be a nice little work truck, guys. You throw heavy metal on there. You don't give a crap about it. Some of y'all are absolutely crazy. You're saying to narrow this bed, to blast it, rhino line it, paint it nice. You know what the, if you want a nice bed, here's what you do. You take this old crusty one up off here and you build a nice one, guys. That's what you do if you want a nice bed. Now, this may come as a shocker to some of y'all, uh, but I'm not building a show truck here. Let's say we build a nice bed. Let's say we just clean this one up, make her look just spiffy as can be. That ain't gonna change the fact that our cab still looks like this here. So then what, we're gonna find us a nice cab? Well, hell, we got a nice bed, we got a nice cab. Now we gotta get a nice paint job. Well, hell, now we got a nice paint job, a nice bed, and now we got a work truck that's worthless. No thanks. I ain't interested. I ain't saying I won't hit this thing with like a brush on coat of tractor paint, but she's gonna get work, guys. Let me put it like this. Let's go have a slight gander at the old international shop truck. I've got a month of work of doing sheet metal and prepping and building all this frame and color matching bed liner to the interior color. And look how tore up this damn thing is. Looks like somebody uses this thing like a work truck. That was supposed to be my nice truck. My point is, if I'm willing to do that to that truck and tear it up, what do you guys think I'm willing to do to this truck? <laughs> it's a work truck, damn it. Get the welder ready and we're gonna huff this baby up into place. Good enough for me, tack it. According to that square, we didn't miss by too bad. She's tacked on. The worst part of this crane, I can already tell you, she hides our stack. Yeah, we may have to extend that where people know we got a stack. We don't want them thinking we're a punt. Uh, let's check her for range of rotation. If we rotate her this way, looks like she'll be able to come up here. So she should do the same to the other side. 
That's good, she swings like that. Now we can put us a little stowaway compartment on that old headache rack. Let's have a old look see at Big Red here, see what she's about. Look like a damn fire hydrant. Big Red ain't bad. We do got a winch sitting right there. The main benefit of Big Red is she's simple, guys. Basic hydraulics. She can handle a lot. It's just simple. Now the winch, on the other hand, I can control it because I do a lot of stuff myself. So if I'm down here and need a guy to chain or the cable or something, I can have a winch controller in my hand that I can jack it up at the same time. Winch, cherry picker style. Winch, cherry picker style. Either way I go, I think I've decided I do want to put a pivot point right here. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. Let's head, out, let's head on over to the scrap cabinet. Well, 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 what do we got here? Got two of those puppies. These are some hinges I built a long time ago, and they never got put to use. They're not the best hinge in the world, but I think we'll use them. These hinges, I think I built them for like a, I think we're gonna do a hay bale spike or something. I don't remember, guys. There's one problem with these hinges. To make them work, they're gonna have to sit like this, which means if we ever gotta change them bolts, we're gonna have to torch the head off. Drove all over town trying to find some one inch bolts that were long enough I couldn't come up with any. So we're gonna do her like that. And if we ever got across that bridge, well then we'll cross her. I'm actually gonna try to square these up and tack those together, that way it holds it. There we go. Yeah, something like that should work. Two and a quarter wide, we should be good right there. This one being three inches, we're gonna have to do something on this end. We're gonna just kinda eagle eye her into place and weld her on. That right there is the new hinge pivot swing arm deluxe hinge kit. Ho ho ho! Hey, she stiffened up a little bit, but I think we did pretty good with our warping on that one. Kept her to a minimum. We get her up in place and I'll hit it with some luby dooby too. Oh baby, we just set her right on top. This thing's gonna be built like a brick shit house. She's easy removal, okay, quick release addition. These things are the exact width, so we're gonna add a little bevel. We had to put some quarters on this, okay? We skipped the dimes, we skipped the nickels, we went straight to the damn quarters. Oh, she's getting heavier by the wheel, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Crap's adding up. Especially when you're throwing down quarters. <laughs> she's welded up, she looks solid. Hell, she looks good. About like my hair, you know. <laughs> oh, looky there. Whatever we welded, it took the warping out. Y'all see how easy that slides now? When you're good, you're good. <laughs> Damn, Bruce Lee could train on this SOB now. Did you guys get in the shelter? You Shut damn right it did. Yeah, hey, can't. beginning of this video, I said something about get ready for tornado season last night. That damn wall cloud with the circulation came right over our, our place. Them to tornado sirens were screaming. Screaming, yeah. That yeah. tornado, I stopped outside, it thought about touching down. I looked at it and I said, not today. <laughs> and it picked itself up and kept on freaking going. I said, I ain't in the mood. That tornado would have been in bad shape if I had to put my new balances on. Someone would have got it. <laughs> Them tornadoes think they're fast, but they ain't seen me throw a roundhouse with these babies. <laughs>
we're gonna half clamp her here and let's kind of look at our boom potential set up she's gonna be like a cherry picker on steroids seeing how that boom's so light i just she may be a little easier to work it down here Little huffing and puffing. Since we're going cherry picker style, I thought we may need the boom to be able to extend though. Dug through the scrap pile in the back. Now, the only thing I got that'll fit in there, we got some three inch C channel. I think she'll be plenty strong. The real question is, does she fit? Survey says. Yes, sir, she does. It's a little tight, but it fits. Honestly, tight's probably good. Because this has to weld to this, and then it's not removable. We want to figure out our holes before we got to do it on the truck. So we'll go one inch back. Then I think we'll go every six inches. Go mark center both ways. And then I'm gonna mark us out about a 13 16th hole because we're gonna use the speed drill here. I don't know what y'all speed drill looks like, but here's mine. That thing sounds better than this thing running. That old piece is glowing orange. I'm gonna try to give them a slight clean up with this old hog molly right here. Then we'll see how we did. We didn't do terrible. We didn't do great. I'm bad about holding that old plasma at an angle, so I leave a little lip in there. I think we can knock most of it out with that pretty damn quick. She's beautiful. Just beautiful. Hey, she passes through on all of them. We'll take it as a win. I ain't picky. We're lining this up. Hell, right there is pretty good. A few tacks on it. Oh, yeah, she pivots good. I'd say that's a pretty good range down. This is the fun part now where I get to huff this thing around and weld it. I think I can weld in there without messing her up. We want to weld that, but we don't want to weld them to each other. Hell, she'll weld. She'll weld. She may have got me there. Damn camera got me anyhow. Yeah, she barely touched there. Oh yeah, there we go. She wants to pivot. That about knocked them toes clean off that old lefty. Them new balances ain't scared though. Woo! Putting that on ain't the easiest thing. Whoa, baby, she moves good. Oh yeah, we're doing good here. We are doing good. She'll handle a couple hundred pound anyhow. Luckily them tack welds didn't give any. This bolt's a three quarter inch bolt and I just got to thinking. On the back of here some holes, they're about three quarter inch I think. Let's see. Yeah, she's a three quarter inch. When I was cleaning this out, I believe there was a three quarter inch pin in the glove box. Oh baby, looky there. You damn right. 
That right there just makes her look legit. Hey, get back here now. Yeah, that slag will get you. There we go. I got the big piece. I want this thing to be able to reach the ground where if something's laying pretty flat, pretty low, we can still get it. So if we put our pinhole right here, run that out to the very end, that's pretty close. I think we could go a hair more. Yeah, I think I like that. I say we cut it there, we pin it there. Y'all better watch out, you know I get buck nasty on that fresca. Them wheels are going round and round. the rest off the outside anyhow so there she is stretched pretty good now let's look at getting her sucked back so currently that's as far as it'll suck back i'd like to take it as far back as we can i like that she's sitting flush back there perked near close enough so we'll mark it right there where is she there she is, pin it. Pinning's winning. Guys, I'm super happy with this. Ain't nothing to be mad at, that's for certain. Of course, we're gonna have to put us a hook of some sort, chain attachment, swivel hook, knuckle buster, a slip and roll, a boom hower, a tug and Johnson. Any of them would work. <laughs> But we're not worried about that right now. We're gonna get the ram situated. We need to get Big Red on this unit. Now Big Red don't mess around, okay? She'll lift about anything you want her to lift and she'll build a bicep if you ain't careful. We've got two ears down here. Of course up there, a ram, it just has a hole in it. So we need some tabs of some sort. gonna knock a hole here we're gonna kind of notch this here we actually clean her up to a 5 8 there clean her up a bit here and well that old slag she ain't ever even a challenge for them channel locks that cleaned up we're gonna try to eagle eye position this if i get happy with it we're gonna tack it Woo! glad we got that tack that baby was hot h-a-h-t that baby was hot there we go she didn't require much we're sitting good there. Hey, I'll take it. Now up top, we gotta get her pivoted as well. I've got these two tabs here, 3 8 thick. We already modified two of them for our Datsun for the rear shocks. Uh, so we got two, why not use them here? Just gonna knock that radius off. Take them out to 5 8 We got out to 5 8 trimmed up, beveled up, ready to go! Got them tacked up. I hate tacking without my helmet, but sometimes, just gotta do what you gotta do. Why don't y'all say we give her a test run? We pull up to an engine. It's way over there, cause we just, we always find random stray engines that we can't get close to, okay? I told y'all, she swings good. 
Time for the extendo arm. We chain on. Let's pick that baby up. One second, please. Gotta stay hydrated and keep that pump game strong. Pros and cons of placing the pivot point right here. The con is, it's a lot of pumping guys. The pro is, she, old big red long stroke. She's gonna freaking get her crane up in the air here. That's about all the testing we can do in here uh, for the safety of that garage door. We could still damn near put a pulley out there and then keep the cable back over here. We could have the best of both worlds. We could have the electric winch and the big red stroker. Man, looky there. She'll work, guys. That's good. That is good. Get back in our retaining position. Can't be mad at that. Whoa, Betsy. We got the old swing lang welded up solid. Let's go get the frame. This thing is gonna be solid. Solid. S-A-W-L-I-D. Solid. In fact, she's so solid that when that just started to fall, that poor tripod, well, she never stood a chance. Now she's missing one leg. Another one went gimp on her. Hey, lean her on the table. She's good as new. Of course, we welded her down there. Then I just went every few inches up here. Of course, tied her on top also. Yeah, I think she's gonna need the extendo kit. Actually, she's pretty annoying to listen to. I guess we could hook a right 90 put a glass pack then 90 up huh help our exhaust cool off before it enters the atmosphere to help fight global warming just trying to do my part guys that weight's all that thing needed guys she's a swiveling machine now now overall she's looking pretty good i'm liking it guys now should have took all day to get that done i don't know maybe i made it harder than it had to be but what i do know is me and hot rod ain't got to play real good in a couple days and that's what i'm gonna go do guys i'm gonna get showered up early this evening where me and hot rod can play and we'll be back on her in the morning and we're gonna we're gonna tidy her up let's get this unit ready for a chain uh kind of looking at it this morning guys and i can't quite put my finger on it but something looks different about it yeah, I can't quite tell what, but something just ain't the same. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, either way, I got some stuff for this. Got us some stuff to whip us up a little chain hook on the end of this. Good thing I did some research and made sure our bolt would fit our chain. That's perfect. Let me guess, this pin don't fit neither. No, no, she fits, so we're good there. There we go. Now y'all know I'm all about my scrap cabinet. Just whip up a quick square. Uh, gonna knock a hole over here. Simply clamp this here. Take that there. <laughs> it helps if you can hit your drive here. There we go, she didn't require much. Bring her down now, y'all. We're gonna drill this a hole. Gave her one around the world for good measure. 
get us some washers on. Nice and simple, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll shorten up that chain if we have to for now. I'm going to try it long and see how I like it. Hey, now you know what I found to go with a uh, Super Stroke Ram Jack 3000 Red Edition? Look at this pin. We got a little retaining pin on the other side. Watch out, that thing will hit you in the head. Uh, but she's red to match the old Jack. Red on red, looking good, flatbed Fred. Now she ain't gotta be perfect, but I do wanna slip that back down around there. Now I've considered adding some bracing to help kind of stabilize that, but I think we'll do some testing first. I like that, nice and simple. All I did was hook that back onto itself. Think it'd be cool to put a hook down here where it was just a straight chain. I like it guys. Uh, she may be running with the mesh, she's squealing a little bit, but we're gonna load this thing up and go do some testing on it. We're gonna load this up on the baddest tow rig in Pot County. She's towed them all big and small and she always gets the job done. Her power is unmatched from anything around. She's got a hitch that can handle anything in town. And that old engine sings, man, she sings. What a beautiful, beautiful sound. Once we get that flatbed loaded, we're headed out to my old man's place and uh, it's going down. Y'all thought I was talking about the travel off? I said the best damn tow rig in Pike County, baby. Just playing, y'all. Y'all know we gotta take that old travel off. Boy, guys, it was not easy to get here. Loading this thing was hell okay because let's just say she ain't running right got the old pot county gas tank on her we'll see what we can get into here i was going to show y'all how to run over a tree but you know sometimes you just gotta pick your battles guys well i don't know what's wrong with her First test we're gonna do is how much flex can we get out of our crank torsion bars? There you have it guys, right there. She's basically as good as four length. She's still not running good, guys. We need to pop the top off the carb if we can. Well, you're damn right. Luckily, I kept that 10 mil in my pocket and I didn't put it back in the toolbox. I didn't know if I had one of them or not on me. Looks like uh, five screws will get us. Just feels right being underneath this tree. Guys, y'all didn't know that you're standing in my first shop, actually. That's right, first time got a little S10 running right by this tree. This is the same tree I pulled the uh, engine out of the Datsun with. That's a good picture right there. Don't mind them jorts I was wearing. The needle wasn't caught up, but it just fell out, so that's good. Gonna slide our little retaining clip back on that little tang. P-tang, baby, that's me. Oh yeah, she's dirty in there, guys. Carburetor needs cleaned out again. We've come this far. I know in the future we need a good clean gas tank. We're going to clean that carburetor up one more again. And after that, I think we're going to have a solid little truck. But for now, we still got to have a little fun down here, guys. Get them all tightened down. Man, that's a good knife. Let's do our tweaker lap. You don't want to be driving this way and accidentally have them brakes fail, I guarantee it. By the time you get to the bottom, you'll know it. Hey, there's old Blue 42. There she is. Hmm. Y'all think the old Yoda can pick up the back of old Blue 42? Oh, 
Old Big Red's ready to show what she can do. You damn right, baby. That's tall enough to put a shit digger on, I guarantee it. Now she may look like a low rider, but she looks like she got an even bigger lift kit on this side. Boy, if we put a receiver hitch right here and put a trailer jack where we can quick pin that to stabilize this, she's gonna be golden. Oh, she's still going, guys. She's still going. She ain't scared. What you guys think? You gonna crawl up underneath there and change those shocks out or you need me to do it? <laughs> you don't wanna crawl underneath something like that, but hey, she's picked up. Well, we didn't think that one out. <laughs> It set it down way over there. Now as this drops, it's gonna pull that chain tight. We ain't gonna be able to unhook it. And that, folks, is why I wanted the pin with the handle. No problem. Our next job's on up past the hill, so we're gonna do a quick stowaway. I had a few people ask about that old trike up there. That's some Puddin's Fab Shop work from when he is probably about 12 or 13 or so. That fork's about seven foot long on the damn thing. <laughs> People have asked if I want to sell that piece of scrap metal. The answer is no, guys. She is the perfect roof topper for the James Country Style Sausage old storage shed. you damn right that's the old sausage shed. Let's go move that travel off front end. Come on! Uh-huh. That is not going to help our gas tank situation. Let's try the old rotten log trick. She is clearly going nowhere. <laughs> we already found one of her issues. She needs more lift, more clearance. Hey, she's girthy. I found that. Pretty sure that old truck's just a laughing at me. <laughs> Hell, I don't blame it. Here we are. I believe this is where that old slaying up shit's creek without a paddle. That's us right now. Trying to go up that little short hill wasn't very smart now, was it? We have made for a cool little two second clip, but here we are. I should have known earlier after this thing started running funny not to push my damn luck today. Almost got them tires bouncing a little bit. Bounce up out of there, you bee. She gave. Oh man. We found our limit real quick, didn't we? You may notice the headache rack's kind of doing about a 30 degree angle. That old rusty metal decided she had enough. Now I've considered adding some bracing to help kind of stabilize that. Pertnir had enough tension on it to get that side bouncing. We probably weren't going to get it up out of there, but it was worth the shot. That had to break, or that tree had to come out of the ground, one of the two. Turns out it was a rack. I told y'all this was a rusty bed. That stuff's as thin as 20 gauge. That crane didn't give though, did it? Are they fighting, or are they making love on my damn stack of dimes right there? Oh no, that's a fight. They're fighting. Yeah, they're fighting. Only one of us is walking away from this. Uh-huh. He's on top, got him in a damn arm bar. Rear naked choke. Oh, take that, I'll bite your little butt sack. Yeah, your little, oh, oh, couple right hooks. Yeah, you like that? You like that? I've been, I've been training, son. 
17 year jujitsu master you want to roll with me yeah i got your ass whipping right here i got it right here all right got a little distracted there uh yeah we're in a bad position guys <laughs> truck stuck trucks broke uh my give a damn meters broke guys i i wish i could tell you i'm really upset but i'm not i just wanted to have some fun today this may not look like fun to most but it's nice to get out of the shop and just not give a damn you know what i mean after this we may end up with that new flatbed i was talking about earlier <laughs> We're going to grab our keys, grab us a bottle of water, and we just got a long uh, walk of shame here. I let myself down, guys. Hell, I let y'all down. I hate to say it, but I let Pot County down. And I'm just playing walking's good for you anyhow. This is what I actually wanted to move today. It was kind of my mission. See if we can move this because it's in a terrible spot here. See old Roy over there? Yeah, you see her. A real damn off-roading machine? I think after we get the Dancing King on the road, we're going to have to drive the little Toyota down here and use that crane and put a motor in that for Dad. We're about to start a new segment here. Nature Walks with Pudding Tang. It'll just be us talking about life and miscellaneous subjects as we uh, just take beautiful nature walks. Hey, yo, just found somebody's keys. Look at that. Now, what did I lose keys to? Because I guarantee you those are mine. Drove that old travel all back to the house and we got the real tow rig. Now y'all call them boys over at the Matthews Off-Road Recovery or at the Fabrication Ratters. Y'all let them know we're stuck and we need a pull out. I think that's what they do for a living. We're going to take the tow roller. We're going to go back down back. And we're going to give her our best tug job. See if we can't tug her out of there. That's a hell of a place to take a nap there, pup. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm still coming for you. <laughs> I think I just buried this thing. Perfect start to a recovery. We don't need no stinking professionals. No, sir. Come on, little Japanese rocker, hold together. Maybe we'll try to get the back side. We got three missions, guys. Mission one, unstick tow roller. Mission two, unstick old headache rack attack right here. Did you damn birds be circling me? We ain't leaving nothing out here. I ain't dead in the water yet. This is not going to just pull us out of here. Hey, yo, she's up and out. I used the tow roller to stop it. How we didn't set the airbags off? No clue. That tow roller take a decent hit. There ain't a good way around this. Just like that, baby. I mean, we got all the weight right there. I think we can wiggle worm that. I don't know about you guys, but I call that damn mission complete. Toro 
Nicole ain't no punk, so she can actually go over stuff and not get stuck. We're gonna park her up here in the shop. Loyal, faithful, tried and true. That's just a few things I can think to describe that old tow roller back there. We got a damned old storm rolling in. This was mission two complete. Okay, we got one mission left. What we first came out here to do, we're moving that travel off front end, damn it. She just needs a little support. That's good, we'll get that nice and hot. Don't be scared. Oh! Guys, this thing handles this no problem. It handles it no problem at all. Are we gonna flip this little bastard? I think we could flip it, guys. Look at that. take no for an answer. I did have to cheat and use the jack. Perfect spot. Hey, there's actual sliding back glass for one of these trucks. <laughs> we got a quick change rear end. There's the back half of the Datsun. Uh, this will be a perfect spot for this thing. Hey now, get back here. Crack that jack over there and just let her kind of ease down. This would definitely be easier with an extra set of hands. Hey, here we are at the end of the day. I move the engine I come to move. Forget all them other hiccups between here and there. <laughs> just a couple. Oh man. That water and oil got all over the bottom of my bag, and guess where I sat it? You guessed right here. Lucky guess. I was about to leave, but there's one more, just one more thing I want to try, guys. <laughs> Start hauling butt there at the end. I just had to know if I still had it. Still got it. Uh, on a serious note, I appreciate you guys watching. If y'all can't tell, I'm just having fun, okay? We're very cheap into this truck. I do not feel bad just having some fun with this truck. I kind of wanted to find its weak points, and well, I'd say we found them. Headache rack, slightly rusted, needs some support. If we're gonna pick up a heavy load, we need an outrigger, or we may flip the truck. Minor details, at the most. I ain't mad at her for her first outing. I'm just having fun, guys. Uh, I really dig this little truck. Uh, this is exactly what I want to use it for. I want to beat on it and just drive it. So I'm on the Instagrammer. We're on the Patreon. Not on much else, to be honest. And uh, what else we got? Well, y'all know what we got. We got top quality merchandise over at the www.puddingsfabshop.com. We got t-shirts, we got koozies, we got stickers, we got keychains, we got smell goods, guys. And every shirt's guaranteed to look better than this here Datsun. Here comes Bigfoot walking down the trail we've been spotted. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. We could have sat on our butt, our trucks would still be stuck dad's here he would have just picked the damn thing up because he ain't no punk y'all already know that uh i will see you guys next time <laughs> got stuck already
probably would have got stuck in that old travel off. Pull around out front to load it up, run out of gas, and uh, boy, that old fuel filter, she's looking. She's good. Let's just say the old fuel filter is doing her job. We're gonna end up having to drop this tank, but today is not the day, no sir. You could have got it buried in, huh? I'm filming you. So here's the good news, guys. The good news is we know our problem. <laughs> the bad news is uh, our tank's got a couple issues here. There's our pickup. We can't keep this thing running. She's sucking air. Now only got a gallon or gas or so in this, so that explains that. Have a look-see over here, though. Nice, steady stream of gasoline. So apparently we got a hole in our tank now, just moving this truck around. We're just trying to get her to the damn trailer. Well, due to our circumstances here and not wanting to give up, we're just going to rig us up a tank to get through the day because y'all know I'm going to get that testing done for you. I was just trying to get that damn shot. And no, we're not going to tow that out to my dad's house. That little Toyota would not like that. We are going to hook on to Edna. We're going to haul butt because I'm running way behind.